today we're turning my bedroom into a real desert. Starting now. Over the next 50 days, it'll transform into a desert flourishing with life. It'll simulate real weather patterns, have secret hideouts, and so much more. And at the end, we'll welcome a rare predator. We're gonna need a lot of sand to pull this off. Like, way more sand. Now we're talking. This is such a bad idea. Soon, my bedroom will be home to 10 different species, including Leche, my friend's lizard that I'm babysitting next month. Time to add our first roommate. This feels so wrong. These are isopods, or as I like to call them, the dune diggers. Good luck out there, squad. I'm gonna leave them a tiny present right here. There is sand everywhere. It's already in my shoes and in my hair, but then things got worse. You can't just put sand in your bedroom and call it an ecosystem. You're gonna need cacti, rock, and so much more. Good luck. And while Adam works on the bedroom, we're picking up some plants. This place has so many plants. Oh my gosh, cacti are so expensive. I'm adding this barrier so the bugs don't escape into Jamie's house. And I'm also cooking up some cactus soil. Bon appetit! It's time to get planting. Ow! Cacti are no joke. When I was a kid, I always wanted to go to the desert. But the closest one was a plane ride away. So today, I'm bringing the desert into my bedroom. These cacti are so sharp. One wrong move in here could end in disaster. I made it. The next day, we welcome the spring kids. These little guys are tiny but mighty and love eating garbage. Look, the dune diggers found their apple. Now we have the hard job of sitting around and waiting. And waiting, and waiting. And while we wait, can you spot these characters sitting in somewhere in this video? Our bedroom is alive. We have an unexpected roommate. This is not supposed to be here. This is Sparky, a desert tarantula. He may look scary, but he's actually pretty harmless. I made him his own bedroom so I can sleep in mine. I just realized deserts are hot and my bedroom is not. So let's turn up the heat. Let's go! We have a big problem. It is so hot in here. Without water, everything will die. Oh, oh God. So I added a desert oasis. This is so relaxing. And we're adding a few shrimp to our ecosystem. Look, they're already getting to work. A few days later, the bug population exploded. This is a millipede. Despite its name, it doesn't really have a thousand legs. It only has about 200. The bedroom floor is thriving. But the rest of my bedroom looks kind of late. So I'm in the real desert for some inspiration. In the desert, there's almost no shade. Now this is what our bedroom should look like. Did you know there are over 2,000 species of cacti? Ow, ow, ow! Do not go crawling in the desert. <sighs> but the desert comes alive at night when the temperatures drop. This special light will help us see desert animals. We sometimes forget we're living in their world. Back at the bedroom, we're leveling up our ecosystem. Wait till you see what I'm painting. And while I paint, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Opera Desktop. Opera is a faster, safer, and smarter online browser with so many cool features. I love these colors, but I have no idea what to paint next. Luckily, Aria, Opera's free generative AI tool, can help. Let's ask it what we should paint and see what it comes up with. I completely forgot about cacti. You can ask Aria anything, and it'll give you a clear answer straight away. Let's ask for another idea. It wouldn't be a desert without a burning hot sun and a few clouds. And with Aria's highlight tooltip, you can learn more about each topic. Did you know that Sparky is a carnivore? Opera has so many other features to explore. I can't believe we just decorated my bedroom with AI. 
So click the link below to download Opera Desktop today. I think it's too dry in here. Let's take a couple samples and investigate. Light Jay is coming over soon and we need this to be perfect. The water sample looks great and is full of life. Whoa, what is that? Hi. But the sand sample is a different story. Even with the oasis, our desert is too dry. Welcome to the Desert Weather Report. And today, we're expecting a huge thunderstorm. Adam programmed weather patterns so we finally have rain. Our plants and animals finally have some relief. And this time, it's on a timer. You see, a couple months ago, I turned my bedroom into a jungle. But it got super moldy, and I had to take it down. Over the next couple of weeks, everything flourished. The shrimp are keeping the oasis clean, and the bugs, well, they're crawling up and into my bed. And there's sand between my sheets. Ew. There's no way I can sleep in here. So I made these special stilts. This looks ridiculous. Bugs are still climbing up. So Adam is designing a solution. We're gonna create an acrylic enclosure for your bed. This way, you have your own desert den. Let's get to work. If the wood doesn't line up perfectly, bugs will get in while I'm sleeping, and this will have all been for nothing. And to make sure it's a real hideout, I'm camouflaging it with this paint. And while our paint dries, I'm giving away another ecosystem kit. Last week, Tegan and Macy won and set up an epic hermit crab enclosure. So comment for your chance to win. And here it is. Now I can be super close to the action without disrupting our little ecosystem. This is so weird, I feel like a lizard in here. It's getting dark and I just realized we forgot something. This will project the entire galaxy above us. Did you see that shooting star? Make a wish. In the morning, our room transforms into a beautiful sunrise. Waking up to this is so cool. Our desert den looks awesome, but it needs something. How about some pillows? Oh yeah, this is much better. We can't forget my favorite snack. Now, I don't have to leave in the middle of the night. I even have Netflix so I can chill. But my favorite is this camera so I can see what's going on. We made it to day 50. I can't believe how good this looks. Leche is here. It's only been 30 seconds and he's already found dinner. He spent all day exploring and looking for snacks. He's the king of the desert. Leche loves salad. He's so cute. It's time to say goodnight. This is my childhood dream come true. It's so magical with the moon and stars out there. I think Leche's up there. I can hear him scratching. What ecosystem should we explore next? 